Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is Philip from England, and uh, this is a uh, free um, um, IELTS uh, exam uh, webinar. Um, <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to try and uh, share this, uh, if possible, with... Uh, um, in some uh, uh, pages and things like that uh, that I run. Okay. It's a little bit late at night in the UK, so uh, I'm aware it's maybe not the best time zone for uh, people to attend. But we'll see. Okay. Um, right, so I can see someone's here. Uh, welcome. Um, and I'm just um, going to be sharing this with uh, uh, some groups. So, um, and um, so, but whilst I'm doing that, I'll try and multitask. Um, so, uh, my name is Philip from England, um, and I'm a UK native speaker. And I first started teaching the IELTS exam uh, over uh, 14 years ago. Um, in, I think it was January 2006, if I'm correct. Um, okay. Um, now, just one thing I'm going to mention uh, before uh, starting also is there is a free ebook. Um, so if anyone is interested in the free ebook, um, then I'll put the link in the chat. Um, so uh, then you can just go ahead. Now, for the um, uh, free ebook, um, there is no uh, requirement to give your email address or anything like that. So. Um, basically, um, you can uh, just uh, go there and download the ebook directly. Um, it, I don't know if I can get a picture, uh, maybe not, but uh, uh, the ebook is um, uh, 100, I think it's 104 tips. So I actually wrote it uh, quite a, a few years ago, I think. Um, so I may need to update it at some point, but uh, anyway. Um, so, um, yeah, so, so the ebook, uh, um, is, uh, um, uh, 104 tips and it's completely free. Uh, the link is in the, uh, video, uh, description and, uh, also I put it in the comments. So you can, uh, if you, if you're interested, you can just download the ebook, uh, directly from there. Um, and... Uh, I'll read it out also. So the um, uh, the uh, uh, web link is online English teacher uh, forward slash IELTS. So that's online uh, English teacher uh, forward slash IELTS uh, to uh, download it. Um, so online English teacher, uh, sorry, well, online English teacher dot com rather. And then uh, forward slash uh, IELTS, um, and you can uh, uh, just download it uh, directly from there. Okay, uh, it's actually nine o'clock in the UK, so I'm aware that uh, the um, uh, selected time may not be the best. Uh, unfortunately, I was to uh, sorry. Well, online English teacher. Excuse me. I just uh, that was my video playing. I just um, uh, was just. Uh, checking out uh, everything looks normal um, anyway so uh, but I'll go ahead and then uh, people may perhaps still come um, and um, so we'll see right okay so um, welcome uh, once again and uh, if you're listening uh, on the replay afterwards um, so um, today I'm going to be talking about um, the IELTS exam. 
um, and specifically uh, tips for the IELTS uh, how to uh, get a, um, a better grade uh, for for the video playing exam. Now, excuse me, I'm just uh, uh, watching uh, along, just making sure everything's uh, clear here. Um, okay, so uh, for the um, uh, actually, I'll just set up my my volume so that uh, uh, that'll be e much easier to do it. Anyway, so. Um, uh, for the um, uh, IELTS exam, uh, there are four uh, sections, uh, listening, uh, reading, uh, writing, and uh, speaking. And uh, uh, so in the uh, uh, exam, um, you can, um, uh, um, uh, well, you you may you may need to uh, do well for uh, each of the uh, sections, uh, and um, um, so one thing to do is to be aware of which um, uh, of, of your target grade. Uh, so, uh, for example, um, I was just speaking. Uh, I think yes. Uh, uh, today uh, to someone uh, from Africa who is trying to work, who's a nurse and uh, he is uh, trying to uh, work uh, in the UK um, and so for him he will need to get uh, seven for each section uh, so uh, it's um, uh, important to um, uh, make sure that you know the target grade that you want to get for the IELTS um, so that you can then um, uh, prepare uh, accordingly. Now, uh, just going back to this person who I spoke to today uh, from Africa, uh, who is a nurse and trying to work in the UK as a nurse also, um, he needs to get a seven for, oh, excuse me one second, open the window. Uh, he needs uh, to get um, uh, seven for uh, each section. Um, so uh, what I actually said to him was that uh, it's easy to get an average, um, but uh, not, uh, but much more difficult to get for each section uh, for the IELTS. Um, so therefore, you need to kind of prepare properly. And uh, actually what I said to him is, uh, you know, maybe he had uh, not too bad English uh, for speaking, but he said his writing was worse. And I said to him, well, it may be possible for you to get um, seven, uh, each uh, seven average, but uh, uh, to get um, uh, for uh, each section, uh, this will be uh, harder. Um, so uh, therefore, uh, you need to uh, properly uh, prepare for each section. Okay, um, and uh, also uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, uh, as well as knowing the grade you, you, you need to get, which is, is of course, uh, very important, um, you also uh, will uh, need to... Um, uh, think about uh, the um, uh, uh, how much time uh, you'll need to spend for uh, uh, preparing. Now, um, uh, really, it's uh, um, it's it's a lot of work uh, to uh, prepare probably for the IELTS. Uh, although I've no. I'm a native speaker, and I said the English at university at a much higher level uh, than the IELTS, probably uh, at a top level university course I did, uh, that I did. But um, if I was ever going to take the IELTS, um, and I've done a much higher level course in the uh, university, but uh, but probably it would take you know as a non-native speaker anyway, uh, um, it would take a lot of uh, preparation time probably for my uh, experience of talking to other people. So just uh, realize that. Uh, for the IELTS, uh, it's it's just a lot of work 
uh, that is involved. So maybe you can think about, for example, two, three more hours a day uh, for the IELTS. So just be aware uh, that um, uh, it can take a lot of uh, preparation time to uh, prepare uh, yourself properly for the IELTS exam. So uh, therefore, uh, you need to uh, prepare properly and give yourself enough time also. So, um, and uh, I'll just uh, quickly introduce uh, this web w webinar again. So uh, welcome uh, if you're listening now or if you will uh, be listening later. Um, uh, um, let me just try and uh ask a question of people uh now i don't know if i can um share the link oh yes here we go so i'm just um sharing a link here um and um so here is the link uh hopefully uh, everyone will see it um and uh i think actually i've got to keep it maybe comes on for 30 seconds or something like that um, and uh, anyway, so if you see that link there, which says uh, free IELTS exam tips uh, ebook, uh, then if you click on that, I don't know if I can actually, it just kind of appears and then for maybe 30 seconds or something. And I just click it on myself, see if that's working. Yes, it does work. Great. So if you click on that link, um, then uh, you will uh, be able to access the free ebook. Uh, now, actually, my website does go offline on uh, Friday evening to Saturday evening UK time uh, for uh, religious reasons, in fact. Uh, but uh, um, anyway, uh, so I'm a, I'm a Christian, but I, I kind of have a religious holiday Friday to Saturday evening, and uh, then uh, the website will be offline, but it's it's on sort of six days a week basically uh and i do also don't work during that time as well anyway uh so I, I just i think i need to keep clicking the link uh, for it to show it just shows for 30 seconds anyway if you go to that link uh you can then download the free ebook um and there is no requirement to um give your email address or anything like that it's completely free um and um after you actually download it, um, then there's an awesome option to join a free um, uh, uh, IELTS exam group, which is actually where I'm publishing it at the moment, uh, which has 30, over 35,000 members. So um, anyway, uh, so please do go ahead and download it. I'll just click the link again. I'm not sure actually, interesting to see how long uh, it shows for. I don't know if it's maybe 15 seconds or 30 seconds or something like that. I'll just try and get a little bit of an idea. So I click the link um, and I'll see how long it's, it's up for. So, okay, it looks maybe like 15 seconds, some of that maybe. So I'll click the link again. And uh, um, so basically you can click that link uh, if you're viewing uh, now or afterwards. And uh, there's a free ebook uh, which I made and uh, you can just uh, download it. Anyway, and or you can just go to onlineenglishteacher.com, uh, onlineenglishteacher.com, it's my website, and uh, you can uh, download the book there. Okay, uh, so um, now I don't know if there's any um, uh, questions. So I can see uh, it's, it's quite late in the UK, uh, so probably the time zone, a lot of people are asleep or whatever. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll try to ask, uh, make a poll and uh let's see so can you hear me clearly uh yes or no um and i'm going to activate that poll uh so if uh there's only one person actually listening at the oh, is that activated uh there we go so i've activated activated the poll um and you can click on yes or no obviously just during the uh webinar uh, otherwise it wouldn't work um, it would, well it wouldn't ha have any value but it w but also it wouldn't work anyway uh, so if you want to click on yes or no uh, whoever is listening it's up to you uh, but that that will show me if you can hear me clearly or not um, also what I'd be interested is uh, anybody listening 
uh, for you to say if there's a particular area uh, of the IELTS exam that uh, you want to uh, focus on today, uh, just in case. Okay, uh, so um, I'm going to continue now uh, with tips uh, for uh, the IELTS. I'm just going to close that poll. Uh, no one has uh, said they can hear me or not, but hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> so, um, and uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to be talking uh, about now the if it's academic or general. Uh, you need the academic, uh, for example, to work as a nurse in the UK, uh, just as the person uh, from Africa told me today, they need the academic uh, IELTS, um, and uh, also, of course, to uh, study at a, a university uh, in the UK, uh, you'll need uh, that as well. So uh, find out how, uh, what grade you need, uh, obviously when you need to complete the exam by and uh, also if it's academic or, or general. Also another uh, consideration if it's gonna be a computer-based exam or a paper exam. Um, for myself, if I was gonna take the IELTS, um, I would uh, uh, probably take the computer-based exam because I uh, type a lot and don't, um, uh, so I type, I type a lot and don't write by hand very much. So personally, I'd probably take the computer-based exam and then uh, with the uh, computer-based exam, uh, you can then um, uh, um, uh, uh, copy and paste when you're writing, uh, which is quite useful. So uh, welcome. Uh, I can see there's uh, two or three people listening now. Uh, welcome. Uh, so this is Philip from England and I'm doing a free webinar uh, about the IELTS exam. Uh, there is a free ebook, uh, so if you would like to download that, uh, I'd say it's probably quite good quality. Um, then you can uh, just click on the link, and I think probably the link also afterwards, uh, even after the uh, video, uh, you can still download it. Um, and I think that that ebooks maybe. I'm not, I, I seem to. I'm not quite sure, but uh, maybe it's been um, uh, downloaded thousands of times before. Uh, from memory, I seem to have that number in my mind uh, from somewhere. Uh, so yes, I think actually maybe what the, what it was was um, uh, because a lot of people signed up uh, for my free news, uh, email newsletter. So I've got over uh, ten thousand uh, subscribers, I think, maybe to the uh, email newsletter, and so that's probably why I had that from memory that. Uh, uh, because people sign up to the newsletter when they got the uh, ebook. Anyway, okay, so uh, the next thing is uh, uh, after you've uh, thought about uh, you're going to take the computer or paper exam and so on, um, for the reading, maybe it's, uh, it's perhaps, uh, I mean, there's uh, for the reading, you can kind of uh, edit the paper more easily. Uh, so, uh, um, whereas on, a, on the um, uh, computer, uh, as far as I can recall, and uh, on the computer uh, exam, having spoken to other students before and so on, uh, the uh, computer exam, uh, uh, um, you know, you're just being on the screen and having spoken to students who've taken the computer-based exam, uh, you can kind of scroll up and down on the text and scroll up and down on the questions as well. Uh, for uh, the uh, computer-based exam. So, um, okay, so uh, that, that's uh, that. Okay, uh, so just to um, uh, say welcome, anyone listening, and uh, please feel welcome to download the free ebook. I'll just make the link here. Um, and it's 104 tips for the IELTS exam and probably completely free. You don't need to give your email address even or anything or your name. You can just click download basically and, uh, and there's nothing really to do. Okay, uh, so um, uh, let, let me uh, continue. Uh, so uh, for uh, the IELTS exam, um, make sure uh, that you give yourself enough time to prepare. So you don't want to... Uh, 
just uh, uh, start uh, the exam uh, w preparation, uh, you know, like a week before, and maybe if you're, you need to kind of really um, improve a lot uh, in a, a short time, um, then uh, of course uh, uh, that is not uh, going to be very uh, useful uh, to to um, uh, take to to prepare. Uh, for the exam. Um, anyway, so uh, also uh, uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, um, uh, try to do lots of practice exam practice tests for listening and reading. Uh, you know, if if you need them, uh, obviously, if you're if you need like a six point five, you're always getting eight point five. Every listening exam, uh, probably you don't really need to practice that, uh, perhaps. Uh, particularly, uh, or at all maybe, but uh, uh, for uh, the, you know, but for most people, uh, you need to practice uh, uh, as much as possible. Uh, <clears throat> also, it's good to do writing and speaking exams, and of course, uh, for reading, and listening, it's just the opinion of uh, sorry, it's not sorry. Uh, for writing and speaking, it's the opinion of the examiner, whereas for reading, and listening, uh, it is uh, the um, uh, it, it's a computer, yes or no, uh, kind of thing, correct or false. So therefore, um, try to um, uh, for your for your writing and speaking because you can't really know, but you know, especially well, perhaps uh, what is your grade. You really need, uh, preferably, an experienced teacher. Um, it's in fact something I do. So if you are interested in uh, private classes, uh, then uh, I teach by Zoom. Uh, for speaking and writing correction for homework as well uh, and also uh, tips for reading listening as well so uh, but basically you know i think probably most people would agree that uh, for the uh, 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 for the uh, 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 writing and speaking you can't you know you may think you're doing okay and actually you may be doing okay but if you actually want to improve uh, for example, for the writing, you need to know what mistakes you're making for grammar, uh, which words you're using incorrectly, and so on. So, uh, uh, therefore, it's a good uh, idea to uh, uh, to ha to have that uh, checked. Okay, uh, here is the link again uh, for the free IELTS exam tips ebook. Uh, please feel welcome to download that. Um, you don't need to give your email address or anything like that, um, and. Um, it's on the website onlineenglishteacher.com at the moment. Just go there and you can uh, receive that anytime you want at the moment <clears throat> whilst the website's open. Um, okay, uh, let's go ahead with some more tips uh, for the exam. Uh, for the uh, speaking exam, uh, try not to speak too fast. Uh, perhaps I'm speaking a little bit fast at the moment, so I apologize for that. A little bit of a bad habit sometimes, perhaps. But but not. I'm probably not speaking really fast. Uh, so sometimes I hear students, uh, specifically in one country actually in Asia, uh, they kind of got a habit of speaking fast to maybe try and sound professional. Uh, maybe other countries as well, but that's just one in particular I've noted. Um, and uh, but, but of course it could be any country probably uh, for example uh, just depends but, but maybe it's more cultural uh, with their native language so if anyway if you speak in English uh, quite fast um, and you're making mistakes you know the examiner is likely to hear the mistakes so don't uh, assume that you can just uh, uh, speak uh, very fast and, and that will uh, help you know to pass uh, because basically if you're uh, speaking very fast and making lots of mistakes, then uh, the only thing that will happen is you'll make mistakes faster and it probably won't sound very professional, unfortunately. Um, so that's really not uh, the best uh, option. Okay, uh, so... Um, right, I'm just link, um, putting this in various groups uh, as well. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Anyway, uh, another tip for uh, the IELTS exam 
uh, is to uh, try to. Um, I was trying to share this in some groups uh, still. Um, okay. Uh, let's try that again. Anyway, so uh, uh, another tip uh, for the IELTS exam is um, try to learn useful phrases and uh, uh, for a gra uh, for vocabulary and uh, useful grammar kind of phrase structures, as it were. Uh, and uh, so, for example, you know, having said this, da da da, uh, and so on, you know, just or, or whatever uh, particular structure. Um, so, which, or, 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 or specific of vocabulary, uh, such as uh, occasionally, comma, it is observed, da da da, whatever. Now, of course, uh, for the IELTS exam, uh, you don't want to. Um, and memorize a temple a template for the exam you're going to be very careful that you're not doing that uh, because you know you may be marked down or fail if they think you're actually using a template of your answer a memorize complete answer or some of that but of course in english you know it's normal to learn uh, basic phrases or, or uh, grammar use uh, complex grammar structures or whatever without having learned a whole essay as it were um Anyway, so uh, yeah, so you can try uh, doing that, um, and uh, also uh, for uh, the IELTS exam, uh, for writing, uh, make sure that you check uh, properly after you have you have uh, finished, or or when you're writing, but especially when you finish, uh, it's not really a good idea to just uh, hope. Uh, you haven't made mistakes. You know, you you need to have a system. Uh, so, for example, I say to all my students I teach, uh, such as uh, five minutes checking for task two and three for task one minimum, if possible. And if you do more, great. Uh, but of course, you need to write it uh, well. Uh, so, uh, anyway, so be uh, careful about that. Okay. Uh, so. Um, now, I'm just to say, anyone listening, I'm just sharing my link uh, for the uh, free IELTS exam tips ebook I've written, um, and it only I think shows for 15 seconds each or something each time I click the link. Uh, so uh, please do uh, go ahead and uh, then uh, click on that link, and uh, you will be able to. Uh, uh, download the free ebook completely free uh, you don't need to give any email address or anything or name or anything like that or country or anything at all just zero information and you can download it okay um, we're coming nearly to the uh, end of uh, the uh, meeting um, and uh, so uh, just uh, I think about 90 seconds or something like that so uh, my name is Philip from uh, online English teacher dot com. Uh, in fact, I have two websites, two website names, but uh, I'll just give uh, the other one is English teacher Philip dot com. Um, and uh, but also online English teacher dot com. Uh, so uh, please uh, feel welcome to visit the site. And there's uh, if you are interested in uh, paid classes, paid training by Zoom. Uh, I've been teaching uh, online for the IELTS I, uh, for many years. First started uh, over 14 years ago, teaching the IELTS exam. And uh, it, the main thing I teach is probably academic IELTS, uh, as well as sometimes general IELTS. Uh, so, and then a bit of business English and other things sometimes as well, uh, or general English. Uh, so, uh, anyway, so uh, if you're interested in that, um, then. Uh, you can uh, go there and book a free 30-minute meeting uh, by Zoom. Uh, there's a booking form uh, at onlineenglishteacher.com. Also, of course, uh, the free ebook, uh, and here's the link again, completely free and uh, no uh, contact information at all is required. Okay, um, so I'm just looking at the time, and uh, also uh, maybe a lot of people who will view this video will be in uh, the uh, IELTS forum I have with over 35,000 members. Um, and uh, But if you want to join, you can just search perhaps for 
IELTS exam um, group. I think it's maybe IELTS exam. Yes, IELTS exam group. Um, and uh, but maybe you'll be seeing this from uh, uh, the shared link, and you can maybe just click directly from that, perhaps as well, where the video is originating from. Okay. Uh, so uh, thank you very much uh, for listening, and uh, I wish uh, everybody uh, a very nice day and uh, maybe uh, speak on Zoom. Okay, bye-bye.